Well, Jason, imagine being a parent of a student here at Crittenden New Mount Zion Elementary School, and you get a call saying the school is on lockdown. You panic. You want to find out what's going on. So you call the school. You call the district. Well, this district had everything well in hand. The road to Crittenden Mount Zion Elementary was packed Wednesday with anxious parents who'd heard about the nearby assault and wanted to get their children home fast. I got a phone call from the school saying that the school was on lockdown and um, that, you know, they would let us know when we were able to pick the kids up and what was going on. And it's pretty crazy. It's nothing like this has ever happened around here before. It's a peaceful, quiet, nice neighborhood. Things began at this house on 10 Mile Road as a school bus filled with 10 special needs students stopped to make a pickup. As the driver went to intervene, monitors on the bus used the radio to call for help, then called district leaders to help calm the kids. When we got on the bus, uh, the kids were a little bit confused about what went on, but they weren't uh, as frightened as I would think, uh, but very confused. Superintendent Ron Livingood told me the situation required a soft touch. Usually words aren't the thing that kids respond to. You just got to, you get on the bus and you give them a hug and you talk with them and you laugh with them. The bus then made its way to Crittenden Mount Zion School, where counselors were waiting to help in any way possible. Made parent contact and, and made sure that their emotional uh, situation was stable uh, before making a decision of whether or not they should stay at school or go home with their parents. Uh, and we involved the parents in that decision. The district has an emergency handbook that covers lots of situations, but this was extremely different. Training for a situation like this is, is too specific. Uh, but we do have emergency training, uh, you know, district-wide for you to have a thinking and a responding attitude. Now, what about that bus driver? What did he do? Well, coming up new at 6, the specific steps he took to keep a bad situation from getting a whole lot worse. Tom McKean, not on your side, live in Crittenden.